Yes, sir. It's your boy JT, and I'm back again with another video today. Uh, before we get into this video, make sure you guys hit the like button. Make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you guys continue to show love. If you haven't already, make sure you hit the notifications so you can be notified when my videos do go live because you know YouTube be on a bullshit. But anyway, hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's get to the intro. with you uh as we get another week underway look good morning madden hope you guys are doing well today i see mr benjamin in there even though he typed all those caps and uh got got marked by the night bot um so what do we got today we got some updates we're gonna talk some team of the week we are going to talk uh some giveaways let's go we're gonna go over the content that came out a little bit earlier we got a lot going on uh hope you guys are well um, and, uh, yeah, let's get things going with some updates. I know that's what you want. So let's get to some updates. All right. The team is aware and investigating an issue with crossplay. This issue is currently affecting matchmaking and access to both franchise and superstar save files. Franchise and superstar users with leagues that have crossplay enabled will have difficulty accessing save files until this issue is resolved. So stay tuned on Madden NFL Direct for more updates from the team. Also, in case you missed it, the team is investigating an issue where a Tyree Kill item was made available to earn via challenges. As this item was only made to be test content, the OVR of this item was reduced and made account bound. Additional updates will be provided over at Madden NFL Direct. All right, let's talk some Team of the Week. A reminder, the team is trying out a new approach with the regular season Team of the Week program. You'll notice that there will be no store packs for this release of Team of the Week Week 3. The program will include the updated sets for hero and champion level items that we showed you last week. So let's get into the player reveals for this week's Team of the Week. We start off at the 80 overall level. We got Jason Pinnock. Seven tackles and a sack as he terrorized. Oh, my Cleveland Browns. Six foot, 200 strong safety. He gets free safety secondary positions, Jets and Giants chem. We also had Zach Charbonnet, a uh, former Michigan man, and then transferred to UCLA, and then had himself a game with uh, K9 out, 107 yards, two touchdowns, 6'1", 220 power halfback, Seahawks chemistry. As we go from 80s to the 82s overall, we start out with Brandon Jones. I know we had some Broncos fans. I saw the Broncos fans in chat. Six tackles, a pick, a fumble recovery for the strong safety. Broncos and Dolphins chem 6'1", 191 with that free safety secondary position. I'm going to roll a sneak giveaway right now. Ready? We're going to do a quick giveaway here. Uh, both the legends that we had uh, revealed this past weekend and are in-game. Wes Welker and Jason Taylor is going to High Tech Hate. High Tech Hate. Congratulations. There we go. I'll sneak, I'll sneak giveaway in the middle of the Team of the Week reveals. This got Calvin Austin. A big game for Calvin Austin uh, as the Steelers and the Mike Tomlin voodoo continues working magic in the Steel City. Four catches, 95 yards, and touchdown. 5'9", 162, playmaker wide receiver from the Pittsburgh Steelers. Yeah, animal. You saw that? So that was a little sneaky. A little sneaky boy. A little sneaky boy. All right, we go to the 85 overall heroes. Starting off, come on it's Mike Jackson. Nine tackles, a pick, three passes defensed for the bounce back Carolina Panthers. Shout out to Dave Canales. 6 1, 2 10. He gets Panthers, Lions, Patriots, Seahawks chems for the man to man corner. Again, it's Panthers, Lions, Patriots, and Seahawks. We have also got. Uh, Shout out to Jawan Jennings doing work. 11 catches, 175 yards, and three touchdowns. Debo's out. Yeah. Uh, uh, Chris McCaffrey's out. Uh, we still got Jawan Jennings. And by we, I mean the Niners. And they still lost. Sorry. Sorry, Niners fans. Didn't mean to bring that up. But uh, he had himself a game. 6 3 2 12. 49ers catch for Jawan Jennings.
I mean, what a day for Juwan Jennings. I just kept watching. I, I just kept getting highlights. I was at the uh, the Lions Cardinals game, and uh, it just kept popping up on my phone like touchdown Juwan Jennings. I'm like, dang, dang Juwan. All right, let's go to the 88 overall champions. Starting off with Jonathan Grenard. Four tackles, three sacks for the Minnesota Vikings. 6'3", 263 speed rusher. He is gets Vikings and Texans chemistries with those secondary positions of outside linebacker on the left side and middle linebacker. 85 speed, 88 excel. What do we think of Jonathan Grenard? I'm going to roll another sneak giveaway right now. Uh, two pack. Uh, both those AKA items. Rob Gronkowski and Harrison Smith. Non LTD Rob Gronkowski. But uh, AKA Gronk and Harrison Smith is going to. Or our key 12. Or our key 12 with the Jets logo. Man, did Aaron Rodgers look like an old school Aaron Rodgers? <laughs> Last week. Unreal. All right. So we got Jonathan Grenard. We've also got Jonathan Taylor. 135 total yards, two touchdowns for the man out of the University of Wisconsin. Shout out to Madison. He's 5'10", 226, power back. Colts chem, 88 speed, 87 XL. Thoughts on Jonathan Taylor? What do you think? We had Jonathan Taylor to squad. I know we had the Devon A. Chan. Couple running backs. Good running backs. Uh, shout out says, let me get that JT. I feel you. And last, but I know Nick Chubb. Please come back, my my strong king. Uh, last but not least, your 88 overall team of the week, week three champions. Yeah. Yeah, all A Rod did it again, huh? Boy, did he look good. 281 yards, two touchdowns, 6 2, 223. Jets and Packers came in for a guy coming off of a major Achilles injury. He sure moved pretty well uh, inside and outside of the pocket. Aaron Rodgers. QB, uh, where are my pastors at? It's Aaron Rodgers. I like Jerome Ford. I think Jerome Ford's fine. Yeti. Uh, I think Nick Chubb is a top one. I mean, again, Nick Chubb prior to the injury is a top three back. Uh, and, and I don't think he's two or three. But, um, yeah, Jerome Ford is, is cool, I guess. I don't know. We don't want to run the ball. I don't know. I don't care. I'm a refugee. Somebody take me as a fan. Who should I be a fan of now? Aaron Rodgers, your